what's poppin everybody, Cerebral Fan 4, I have another TCG online match for you guys today with Metagross GX, it's gonna be another cool one against the deck you don't see every day, a non-meta deck, and I like when I go up against these decks, uh, they make for great videos too, I'm sure you guys don't wanna see that, you don't wanna play against the same decks, and you, wanna, and you don't wanna see the same decks all the time, so that's good, and let's see here, I think I might be playing first. We're going to be open up with Beldum here. Okay. Not the greatest opening Pokemon, but hey, you run four of these. Uh, there's a very high chance it's going to be your opening Pokemon. I, had, I usually don't mind as long as I see a couple more on the bench. I managed to get a few more on the bench. And we did top deck one, so that's good. going to play that down. Attach the Metal Energy. And uh, might as well. I, I do have the Copycat, so... Thank God, uh, we're going to get six cards. It's like a Cynthia, so I managed to make decent use of that supporter. I thought about playing down my stadium to draw an extra card, but I decided, hey, let's just let's just be conservative for now because my opponent is running a water deck, so there's going to be Brooklyn Heal probably. So my opponent opened up, as you guys can see, with this White Curum. Uh, it's a card that got released for, in... Uh, I actually think it's, it might be from Lost Thunder or maybe either Celestial Storm, even Forbidden Light. I think it's actually from Lost Thunder, to be honest, but I could be wrong. I just I get the feeling that it's been around, but uh, at the same time, it's a new card. Uh, I think it's from Lost Thunder, actually. But yeah, this is a basic Pokemon that can actually do 160 for 3 if you just have a Fire Energy on it. So my opponent is probably focusing on making... A deck around this Pokemon and he gets out a Blitzel out and gets an Furumasa too, a good Pokemon you don't see many people run and passes a turn so a few interesting Pokemon there and you guys are gonna see why he's running them uh, we're gonna see a Pokemon that I probably never seen anybody play in decks I wanted to make I wanted to make good I wanted to make use of it as well but I wasn't able to just trying to figure out a way to run it in decks. Uh, anyways, I'll save this surprise for later. Uh, we're going to use our nest ball here. Grab, uh, let's grab a Delmice. Uh, why not? I do have a lot of Beldums down. And there's no point getting Lele. There's no point. I don't think I need something like uh, Registeel in this matchup. So we're going to discard our Psychic Energy and Energy Lotto. For the Ultra Ball there, I'm going to grab the Metagross GX. Even though I don't have a supporter, we'll be able to use our Algorithm GX, turn 2 basically, which is great. That's going to fix my hand, get me the shit that I need. So let's attach the Metal Energy, use Geotech System to get the Psychic Energy too, and go for a good little Algorithm GX. But can you guys guess what my opponent is running? I don't think anybody like can really guess it such such a forgotten Pokemon and it's really it shouldn't be that way since that Pokemon is well uh, I'll, I'll let you see <laughs> but anyways algorithm GX uh, we're gonna get a few cards here get my Metagross get a candy let's get a Cynthia to get a supporter let me get a metal energy too I'm probably gonna need that and what else uh, let's get a I guess a max potion, just in case some shit goes down. Uh, just in case some shit goes down. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know if my opponent, my opponent probably won't be able to make a big attack that's gonna make me use the max potion, but you know, you know, you never know. I could have grabbed something like a Metang or the Nest Ball to get another basic Pokemon down and make use of them so that I don't draw them later on. Uh, anyways, my opponent evolves into the Zip Striker, and he's going to use an Ultra Ball of his own. Let's see what he gets. This card's a few cards there. And yes, Arceus. So this is the Pokemon I was talking about, God. A Pokemon that really should have more of a presence in the Pokemon TCG than it has right now, and that it ever had. Like, it got released in Arceus. It didn't really do much to the deck, the Arceus deck from that set. And any Arceus card ever printed, which aren't that many, hasn't really done a lot. This is a Prism Pokemon, Arceus. And if you have a Water, Grass, and Lightning Pokemon out, you're basically able to search, I think, like uh, 
three or four energies, something like that. You can search a lot of energies, that's for sure, while doing 30. So this is why my opponent is banking on here. It's going to use Arceus to build up energies on his Pokemon and make use of the White Curum do a lot of damage. He played down the Shrine, and you know, with the Choice Band, with the Shrine out, and all the damage Curum does, you basically get one-hit knockouts, or you're very close to getting one-hit knockouts, and the Shrine just does the finishing touch. Kind of like my Slacking deck, uh, you do 160 with the Choice Band is 190, then the Shrine is going to basically knock out the Pokemon on your opponent's turn, if they don't get rid of it. So really, really good. Now, Metagross GX is a Stage 2 GX Pokemon with 250 HP, so that's harder to take down. Uh, he won't be able to quite get a one-hit knockout, but hey, I do have 30 damage on here, thanks to the Arceus, and I, I gotta be careful, because the Shrine really adds the damage. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't get an attack off. I didn't get an energy. I don't have an energy in the Discord pile to get it with Geotech system, and I didn't even get a way to remove the stadium, like one of my own two stadiums or field blower. What are the odds, man? Four cards, we don't see any of them. So my opponent got like a free turn here, and he's going to need it because, uh, like, I have max potions, and, you know, this deck, if it's not getting one hit not gods, then I can easily, you know, make the damage like it never happened, and then finish my opponent off. So, max potion here. Uh, I had it, and my opponent did 240 damage. Uh, close, but not quite enough, and I knew he couldn't get the KO. I did like the maths. So, yeah, unfortunate for him. Heal all the damage, and now Metagross GX is going to be able to retaliate. Now, these Pokemon, they're basic Pokemon, 130 HP, even without any add-ons. Metagross can take care of them easily. So that's good. But it's nice that I got the one uh, Delmise down there. Otherwise, Arceus was going to survive. He can actually survive when we attack him. Uh, 160 HP Prison Pokemon, of course. Uh, should have It should have had more, man. I mean, it's Prison Pokemon, it's Arceus. Just give it something. But anyways, so I use my Ultra Ball here and get the Metang out. What we want to do is get the third Metagross GX out soon. Have a few energies in hand. I really have everything that I need here. Even though we don't have a supporter, I can just attack, retreat to the other Metagross, attach the energies, do the Metagross GX combo. Uh, you, you guys should be familiar with it by now. Guardians Rising, uh, the second Sun and Moon set. This card has been around for a bit. All right, even though it doesn't seem that way. So my opponent is going to promote for a Masa with a free retreat. And he doesn't have any energy in play now. He only has one on Kyurem. Now, the good thing about this deck, though, is that it seems like you only have, well, the one of Arceus. So if he gets prized or if he dies, then how are you going to get the energy acceleration? Maybe you guys are going to be asking. But since Kyurem is water, you can actually use the Aqua Patch, too. So it seems this deck does have some, you know, competitive merit. It does seem to be built with a few cards that make sense. Uh, it's not just, it, it, it's, it could be like a serious little deck. It's not just all fun and games. I'm sure my opponent is trying to make it work. He's trying to win, of course. So that's what the Zip Striker is there for, I guess, too. You want to draw a lot of cards, see your patches, see your Arceus, your one of Arceus. But yeah, it does seem to be a little bit unreliable having only one Arceus. Uh, you can't quite do the little combo with that dude. Uh, just only that dude. So my opponent doing some stuff here, using energy reset, I think it's called. Putting the far energies back into the deck. And draws a few cards with the strike gun. It's not quite artillery, but you know people are going to use what they got to use, what they can. So my opponent is going to promote uh, Arceus again. Go for the Trinity Star. And... It seems like a useless move, but it actually just it does damage and sets up my Metagross to be KO'd as well. So it's not it, it does matter what he's doing. Uh, it's not necessarily like he's not applying pressure. So he gets a few energies, and uh, right now Metagross is going to be KO'd if uh, 
I don't heal it. So let's see here. We gotta switch, otherwise we can't attack. Uh, let me just use Geotech System Belt. Make sure that I uh, don't make a mistake. We gotta attach an energy on the one that's gonna come out as well so that I can attack. So retreat. The other Metal Gross GX is gonna come out. Uh, it also has 50 damage on, so I don't think I'll be able to avoid getting a knockout here. Uh, let's use Geotech System again, get my Metal Energy. And let's attach one on. Uh, mm, let's attach a psychic energy. And go for the Cynthia here. Uh, see another Metal Gross GX that would be good. And we don't, but I do see the Max Potion and the Altar of the Sun. Get rid of his stadium. Hopefully, he doesn't get one out soon. Uh, without the stadium, he can't quite get the knockout, I think. And the thing is, is that he has the batons on his Pokemon, I guess, to make sure that the energy sticks around. And that won't be good for him. He needs the choice band, otherwise he can't get the knockout. So you guys can see this deck, of course, it can do a lot of damage. Kyurem can do a lot of damage for just a basic Pokemon. But against a stage 2 GX, you know, you, you have a lot of trouble. So I have a little decent matchup, I suppose, here. So another Wishful Baton, my opponent attaches. It's got three of those guys out. And I'm going to use Cynthia. He really wants to see a Choice Band right now, I'm pretty sure. And his Stadium, I suppose. Another Shrine of Punishment. Let's see if he's going to be able to get those. Now, his dig is pretty thinned out, thinned out I believe. Uh, with the Zip Strike. Uh, I guess the one of the benefits this Pokemon has is that you ditch, you don't just draw until you have five. So you can actually go through a lot of your you can go through your deck really fast even if you have dead cards. So Ultra Ball, my opponent gonna grab another Zip Striker. And just for the purpose of discarding useless cards, I, I think I think he's gonna use Zip Striker's ability sprint. Yeah. So I guess he's really digging for specific cards here. So thins out his deck as much as he can. So, it seems he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's going to use an Aqua Patch, get another Water Energy. But the question is, did he see the Choice Band uh, and a Shrine? And I don't think he did. He only has three cards in hand and is thinking, debating here. So, he's going to be forced to just use Freezing Flames for 160 here. Good, but not quite good enough. I have the Max Potion and it's, it's all for nothing, basically. So we're going to retreat here and, well, promote the Metagross with 50 HP here and use my Max Potion. And it's at this point my opponent is, is kind of going to scoop, uh, realizing. I mean, I wish he would have played the game out. Uh, he doesn't know, but I only have two Max Potions, so that was going to be the last one. I was probably going to win anyway, uh, but, you know, I wish he would have... Uh, Played the game out. It would have been interesting to see what was going to happen. But GG, victory for me against an interesting deck with the White Kurum. Not sure if it's doing any more in high-level tournaments. But it was a nice game either way. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say Rovani4. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll see.